Chicagoans walking through the loop last week may have seen something they probably, did, probably didn't recognize as art. It involved 75 pounds of unsalted butter, a refrigeration unit, and a likeness of the president. It was the latest performance by two artists who call their collaboration the industry of the ordinary. A large cooler moves down State Street, pulled by a group of earnest-looking hipsters in orange and blue jumpsuits. A violinist walks along with them. Inside, a butter sculpture of Barack Obama? Artist Bob Kling from Ohio sculpted it. He does sculptures for the Ohio State Fair. But the art here isn't just the butter bust, it's the event itself. Ever since uh, Obama was elected, we'd wanted to make a, a, a butter sculpture of him and transport him somewhere. We're taking... Barack to his new home at the Cultural Center. That it really is two tendencies in one. It's the idea of examining who this person is at this particular point in time, but also the long tradition of butter sculpting. The two guys in the black jumpsuits, performance artists Matthew Wilson and Adam Brooks, created this work. The duo, who grew up in Britain, commissioned the piece, and they call it The Harvest. It was made to harvest the reactions of those who watched the Obama butter sculpture pass by. And it was very rewarding to see people, uh, of course, taking photographs with their, with their phones and other devices, and these images being sent uh, who knows where. Taking a butter sculpture for a walk through the loop is just the latest of many unusual things Wilson and Brooks have done in the name of being ordinary. Their decade-long collaboration is called The Industry of the Ordinary. This five-hour walk ended at the Cultural Center, where a retrospective show is currently on display. It's sick transit Gloria Mundi, all of these glories shall pass, something that, that most people would do well to remember, I think. Performance art is, by its very nature, fleeting, often seen by only a small group of people. That's what seems challenging with this show. Really what you're seeing upstairs are artifacts or kind of remnants of a performance. The show includes a baby made of beeswax meant to be auctioned on eBay, grocery bags printed with I want to be ordinary, a cake depicting da Vinci's The Last Supper, similar to 12 cakes recently eaten in a cake eating contest. Viewers can sit in a chair behind a hospital curtain and watch themselves on a video screen. Headphones hanging from an IV pole play a country western tune Wilson and Brooks commissioned. The lyrics were adapted from the clinical definition of narcissism. Most of our projects start from an idea that the two of us are interested in ourselves. The exhibition space on the fourth floor includes a room that holds 71 different portraits of the artists made by 71 different Chicago artists. The portraits, all commissioned by Industry of the Ordinary, raise questions about exactly who the artist is and exactly what is the work of art. It's not really about us. It's about the idea of what representation of a subject is. It shows the vast range of work that's being made in Chicago right now and, and celebrates it, really. A PowerPoint presentation aims to list every artist working in Chicago today. Roughly, it's about it's 1,430 artists currently working in Chicago at the, at the time of the opening of this show. Inevitably, that project was going to fail. And I'm sure that there's some names left off there that, that shouldn't have been. Oh, you put yourself in there, did you? Well, we're part of the community. Your name's in there. Was this? Five times. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. That's what I planned for. The industry of the ordinary sometimes seems like two guys having a good time messing around, whether it's playing foosball in the surf or watching soccer at the pub there is a large enough segment of the population that immediately can respond to the things that we're interested in. You know, there's obviously there's faith to, uh, there's the structure of power and politics, sex, uh, emotional attachment or the lack of it. All of those things are integrally woven into the fabric of everyday life for most people. Downstairs at the Cultural Center, a small, ordinary shop sells souvenirs and other work by Chicago artists and artisans. There are dozens, if not hundreds, of artists also involved, and not just artists, but designers and 
and other craftspeople. And that perhaps says something about the art in the ordinary and the ordinariness of art itself. Because the word has long had a bad rap. Both of our tendencies are away from the elitist notion of what cultural production is. Where we may differ from certain other artists or certain other artists may look down on what we're doing is we're happy to, to have the work seen by anyone and uh, anyone anywhere. What is ordinary? <laughs> That's the question. I don't know. I mean, I find my shoes ordinary. I find, I find Adam, and works, uh, Adam and Matt's work ordinary. I find the sky ordinary. I find it all extraordinary at the same time. But that's kind of the line that we're all playing with here. Sick Transit Gloria Mundi, the 10 year retrospective of the industry of the ordinary, including the Barack Obama butter sculpture, will be at the Cultural Center through February 17th. A number of performance pieces of Chicago artists are scheduled throughout the coming months.